Hello everyone. Um, today I want to do this video pretty much a more detailed look on how to dismantle a Cooler Master Quick Fire Rapid. This does look quite a bit different from your average Cooler Master um, Quick Fire Rapid, but that is because I've kind of heavily modded it um, since the past year or so that I've had it. So first off, you're going to flip it around. Um, pull. There'll be a sticker here. It'll say void warranty blah blah blah. Let's say you spilled something on it, your warranty, your warranty is already voided. Or if you're modifying it, it doesn't really bother you that much. Alright. I use a razor blade for this. Um, you can use something else. I would stick with the razor blade. Um, just don't cut yourself. Scratch it. Alright, you'll see the top housing and the bottom. You can work it in right there. You'll feel these little clips. You can pop one up. What? You need to start from the end here. There's two. Three and four. All four tabs. You can see the ones here. Um, mine's painted, so it does look a bit different. Uh, don't pull this all the, up all the way. Make sure you, the, the keyboard doesn't kind of fall open. Same thing up front here. There's one. Oh. Let's try that one again. One, two. Come on now. Three. And four. I'm using the back side of the razor blade. Um, that way we don't cut through the tabs. Alright. And all you do, you just pop it right off. Um, and that's it just for taking the top off. You get your controller here. Um, these switches are uh, stickered and lubed. Uh, MX clears that I put in there. These are browns. These are blues, these are reds, these are greens. It, it's it's quite a different board, um, but yeah. All right, and then all you do, um, make sure these don't kind of rip apart. Just kind of pull up here, and there'll be a little daughter board here that you need to unplug this port from. Mine was already almost off. There you go. Okay, now here's the difference between yours and mine. Um, and I don't have another Cooler Master to show you. But, I can kind of show you with this Philco. There's actually, this used to be a port just like this one here. I know this is kind of difficult, um, and I wish I had another one to show you guys. But okay, it used to have a port here just like this one. Um, I kind of got a little overzealous, ripped the whole thing off by accident once. So I kind of had to learn how to solder. This was quite a while ago. I'll show you a up close look. It was some pretty precision soldering for someone who doesn't... It, it's old. This was my first board I ever learned to solder on, so some were kind of ugly. Um, but it works. Alright, so what you would do normally is you would unplug it here, or here. It um, doesn't really matter. There's the dollar board on the bottom. Go ahead and set that all aside, and it's apart. Uh, besides that, let's see here. If you were going to go any further in modding it, you would desolder every switch. And I'll, I'm going to make a video for desoldering. You would desolder every switch, pull all, all the switches, put new ones in, um, just like I've done on this one. It's a, it's a lot of work, and most likely if you're watching this video, it's something for like maybe a spill and you just need to know how to take it apart. This covers that, um, and the video I'll be making for desoldering, and there's plenty of other ones out there, probably higher quality than the one I'm making, um, that's for sure. I just thought I'd throw this out there. I didn't see a lot of detailed videos on uh, this assembly for a quick fire rapid. And I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and like it. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments and I'll get to them when I can. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys later.